not your ordinary show. This is not your usual show. It's the new Dennis Cash Show. The private eye that brings you stars in the sky. The host with the most on the North Coast. And if you didn't know, you better ask somebody. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dennis Cash. What's come over me? A Judy with big feet. Oh, you, you're back this week. I'm just discussing some things with my buddy Big B here. He was telling me about why don't we go back to the old days, man, and do a show. Look at him. He got his get up on the day. Not, not look like it's part of mine, but that's okay. He got his get up on. He want to go back and do some things with the old show, the old school. Hey, I thought it was a good idea being that the older groups paved a lot of ways for the newer acts and the people that we're dealing with trying to get on TV. I think that's a great idea. What about the Shine Lights, the Stylistics? They would be great, wouldn't they? Great groups, man. How about if we go back and pick up uh, Vassan from Cleveland, Ohio? Maybe even uh, Ben Blair from Akron, Ohio. These would be great groups to throw on the show to go back to the 70s. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a good idea. In case you didn't know, this is the Dennis Cash Show. Along with my co-host for the day, Big B. Dennis Cash Show coming at you from Cleveland, Ohio, where we bring you the stars in the sky. Remember that? The private eye that brings you the stars? Yes, that's us. We do that. We will get you the stars. What we're going to do, we're going to come back at you with the shy lights. The shy lights. Are you tired of standing around watching your friends do the latest line dances? Are you sick of them saying, I can do it, but I can't teach you? Well, look no further. Star Makers presents line dance instructional videotapes. For just $24.99, you can learn the line dances in the comfort of your home at your own pace. In as little as 30 minutes, you too can be on the floor and in step with everyone. Call and order your line dance instructional tape today. Step-by-step -step and classical line dance tapes are also available at these locations. Ah, uh, yeah, you got it, Bob. We we gonna work on that after the show. Oh, we back again. Okay, yeah, we were just discussing, as I said, the Shy Lights, great group, man. We ran into them downtown Cleveland. The Shy Lights, wonderful brothers, man, all the way in from Chicago. The guys were really nice ones. We had a great interview. Why don't you, ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy the shy lights. Me and Barney got to work on our next show. We're going back to the 70s. We're going to get our outfits too, right, Barney? I guess we are. Ladies and gentlemen, the shy lights. All right, this is Dennis Cash here with one of the greatest groups of all time, the shy lights. Come on in with us here. We're going to talk to the group here. We got Marshall. Yeah, what's going on there, Cleveland? Anthony. Hi, everybody. And Squirrel. Hello there, Cleveland. Okay, you guys are back. Uh, I was telling Tony, we did something with you guys a couple of years ago. I see you guys are still kicking and strong in the business. Why don't you let us know what's been happening with you over the last couple of years? Uh, well, we, we, now we have our own record company, Moran's Records, distributed by Belmont, Al Bell, out there in Los Angeles. And uh, we're doing a new album now. We currently have a, a happy birthday song out. And uh, we are doing a new album now. It'll be out very soon. And also, we, are, we did a video with Squirrel's son, South Central Cartel. Uh, uh, SCC thing, which everybody's been seeing on all the videos across oh, okay. country. And uh, we're going to have that song on our album. We're just taking the rap version off and keep uh, Brother LV from South Central on there. And uh, we're going to put that out on our new album as well. Okay. Uh, I, I like to let the people know where you guys reside at, and I do it one at a time, where you guys stay, what part of the country you're from. Well, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Okay. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. When the city, Chicago. Okay, Windy City, Chicago. Now let's talk to the the newest member of the group. Well, I know he's been with you guys a little while now, but about seven years. Uh, let's let's get some feels on what what's the experience been around. The guy's still hanging in there, so he must likes it. Huh? Hey, how you doing? I've been I've been with Shy Lights. Uh, see, August will be nine years for me. Um, Take your time. I mean, basically, I, you know, after my solo year, I, you know, uh, nine years ago, I, uh, Marsh and I. We met and uh, auditioned for the group, and uh, ever since then, you know, I've been with the group. Okay. Uh, we've done two albums so far. Uh, I think this is our second or third album okay. since I've been with the group, and uh, everything is going well right now. 
getting ready to go overseas in a couple of days. Oh, that ought to be fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's let's address this to Squirrel. Now, you said you got a son uh, that's in the business now. Let's talk about how you got him to follow your footsteps. Oh, okay, well, I guess it's all in the genes as far as following my footsteps. Uh, you know, I noticed my son, like, uh, over the years with him, uh, you know, coming up as a youngster and as a teen, as a as an adolescent and whatever, he used to like to hang with his dad and be around show business people and the show business era and everything. And I thought he would more or less, uh, you know, be involved in music, but I didn't know what kind of depth or how serious he really was about it. And I'm very proud of him because, uh, like, uh, uh, he had moved to California and uh, I stayed in Chicago and everything. So uh, he got out there and uh, got a group together and everything and, uh, and wound up being the uh, leader and the business liaison for the group. And uh, uh, he's held things together. And then he called me and Marshall and asked us would we like to do a project with him, you know, his group. So, hey, we said, fine. So he was ecstatic about it. And we was quite thrilled about it. And uh, the chemistry between the young and the older experience or whatever, uh, hey, it came together. And uh, the project came out quite well. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud of him, and, he, and you know, uh, proud we was able to do something together, you know, father and son, as right. well as being, you know, part of the family. Okay, and uh, back to Marshall. Marshall, uh, now, I was just listening to you said that you have basically your own record company now. Right. What are some of the things we, we deal with a lot of local groups that come on my show to give them an opportunity to be seen? What are some of the things they could do to submit material to you guys? Well, what it is is uh, right now we're basically working on the Shy Lights album on Moran. That's Miss Thompson. You know, she's the president of the company. And she'll be sending out some uh, uh, addresses and everything very shortly at the P.O. Box. Uh, and we want everybody to send their tapes in and, and see if uh, what they have. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I can give them the P.O. Box. It's 412 Oak Forest, Illinois, 60452. Uh, uh, Oak Forest, Illinois, P.O. Box 412, that's Oak Forest, Illinois, 60452. K.M. Marantz Records, M-A-R hyphen A-N-C-E. Okay. All right, now, I, I, my, my buddy Tony was telling me before we wrap this up, what's one of the tunes that we can sing out of this? And you guys pick one of the old hits, and we'll, we'll croon, croon on out of this and take us to break. All right. Well, it's an old-time favorite. Have you seen it? A song for the ladies. Call me. Baby, when you call me, the 
Get your call, girl, because I will be waiting patiently. Ah! Thank y'all so much. I'm trying to, I was trying to call Ben. Ben, is this you? I'm going to get the young lady to call you. Boy, he like, okay, man, I got to get back on my shelf. Ben was laying that out, man. Wake up. Get up, man. Trying to, what are you doing on the set? Big B don't tell him you got to go. You got to come in at night, man. You can't stay up all night. I know that. You got to come in at night. Hey, I hope you guys enjoy Ben Blair out of Akron, Ohio. Guy was great. Remember, young ladies, call him. Ben needs to hear from you. And I'd like to also thank the Shylights for coming on to the show. They did a heck of a job. The Shylights are great friends of ours out of Chicago, Illinois. We love the Shylights. We're going to keep on moving right along here. How about a little bit of the stylistics? I know you guys will like them. I enjoy them. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to the stylistics. All right, let's chill, man. The stylistics, we're at the palace, and I'm going to introduce the guys. Well, I'll let you introduce yourselves. We'll start here. Russell Tompkins. Arian Love. Herb Morrell. Okay, we're going to start this off. But first of all, I was talking to you. You can mention now, what is your upcoming plans? You said you guys are working on an album. Give us a little information uh, about that. Uh, as a matter of fact, the album is finished, and the plans are to release the album at the end of this month uh, on the Bellmark record label, so we're looking forward to that. Okay. And uh, also, uh, Amherst Records owns the catalog for all the old stylistic songs, and they're releasing the very first album that we did on CD. Matter of fact, that should be out now. Okay. Uh, also, uh, are you guys reside? Would you tell where you guys are from? I'm from Philadelphia. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, one other thing I want to ask you. It used to be more than three members. Tell us what's going on with that. How many members did it used to be? Well, it's been, it, well, originally it was five members, and we've been three members now for close to about ten years. Okay. Uh, the other two were, well, early retirement. Okay. Yeah. Well, another thing I want to ask, I, I know it's a question everybody wants to know. Now, you had a hit tune, and then Babyface came back and do it. How did that make you guys feel for somebody to come back? Because your tune was moderate success. How did that make you guys feel for that to come back? Well, uh, he did You Make Me Feel Brand New. And it had been done a few times before he even got a chance to do it. And uh, it's always a, a compliment to the original artist, you know, whoever does the song after them and uh it sounded great i love i love to hear babyface the songs that he writes and the songs that he that he sings also 
All right, well, my man is quiet here. We're going to get him to say something here. Something hey, this is a ladies man here. Well, just tell me, man, uh, you guys have been doing this for a while. Are you planning on, you, you're still in good, great condition? You plan on doing this a lot longer? Uh, as long as we can. Okay, there yeah. must be a lot of money involved. Uh, it's money in this business. <laughs> and I want to comment on our, you make me feel brand new, being a moderate hit. Mm -hmm. uh, our, you make me feel brand new. Uh, was about a five million seller, so it was bigger than Babyface, so it wasn't a moderate hit. Okay, yeah, okay. Right. Hey, correct me. <laughs> Slap me if you can. Listen, the last thing I want to say is uh, for the youth out here, the guys that want to get involved in this business, what does it take to keep longevity in this business? Well, first of all, believing in what you're doing, working at what you're doing. Uh, just don't think it's going to be success overnight. You, you know, you just got to work at your craft. Uh, uh, maintain what you do and, and think business wise and not just jumping in it for the money because the money just don't come right away. It's a long, it's a long term haul. Mm -hmm. And like I said, most of all, believe in what you're doing and stay to the drawing board with what you're doing. All right, well, this is Dennis Cash. We're going to let you guys go. So nice with a lot of spice, but with your body it doesn't tie. For sure, with sexy thing, you're looking so good and sexy. 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 You're looking so good. What you gonna do with the love of this body? Can you make mine go lotty dotty? Cause baby, you're the best. Hey, babe, give me a chance to give you some pleasure. When I look at you, girl, all I see is a treasure. And can you pass the day? Because you're looking up so good. Sexy. You're looking up so good. Girl, sexy. Ow. Good and sexy. Ow. Good and sexy. Good and sexy. The way they walk, the way they talk. Ooh. Good and sexy. Ooh. Ooh. Good and sexy. You're looking so good and sexy. You're looking so You're looking so good and sexy. Oh, and 
sexy, you listen out. Yeah, like a song too. And sexy, you listen Yeah, like a song too. And sexy, you listen Yeah, like a song too. And sexy, you Good and sexy, baby. 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 You drive me crazy. Yes, sweet, sweet, baby. Ooh, your body so good and sexy. I know that you will give me such delight. That sensual, baby. Day and night. I just want to get it. Get it on, because the feeling girl is oh so strong. So give it up, give it up nice and wild. Cause all I want is a big button smile. No, good and sexy. You wanna be good and sexy. I'm gonna be good and sexy. Hey, you can be good and sexy. We all can be good and sexy. Good and sexy. Did you guys like that? Hey, Vasan, it's pronounced like vision. The guy was nice, you know, the guy came over and got with me and Tony and he was like, hey man, I just really love to do your show. We really appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoyed the stylistics. But right about now, I hope you guys understand, this is the Dennis Cash Show and if you guys want to get on, give us a call at 283-2634. We will do what we can do for you. But I want to go to my segment called Sound Off. This week's guest will be, of course, Don Patterson and Tony Bone. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after this with Sound Off. Yeah, man. Good show, man. Good show. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. We're back. My name is Tony Bone, correspondent for the new Dennis Cash show. To my left is my partner in crime for right now, Mr. Don Patterson. How you doing? And we're here to do today's sound off feature. We have a real interesting question from a Mr. Lyle Johnson of Cleveland, Ohio, who states... I'm a recording artist, and I would like to make a remake of an older song. What do I have to do to record it? Don, what do you think about that? Well, the original writer, whoever wrote the song, uh, receives credits for those songs, so they would have to contact the AMF, which is a music uh, union, and they would let them know who wrote the song and what they would have to do about getting royalties to that person because, of course, if your song's a big hit, that person wants credit because they did write the song originally. Right. But there's also a thing about uh, um, public property. Yeah. After a while, I guess after the statutes and limitations wear out. Yeah. I'm not going to quote any exact uh, figure at this point, but I've heard things over the years that once the statutes and limitations run out on the work itself, that it becomes pr public property, like a book in the library, so to speak. So... Well, Lyle, there you go. You got it. And w w the best thing to do, more so than anything, is to ask questions. Maybe go to your library, get some books on copywriting, copyright infringement, stuff like that, when you say, Don? Yes, very much so. Uh, the more educated you are, the more you know, the more safer you're going to feel, uh, the better you're going to feel about doing your work. Okay. Well, I'd like to thank Mr. Lyle Johnson from Cleveland, Ohio, for the, for the question, because I'm sure that a lot of people have these same questions. And for him sending it in, he will receive a line dance videotape, okay? He got all kind of stuff on here, the bus stop, the Akron stop, the floor jack to the king. I like that. It's real good tape, real good exercise and instructional. Okay. And if, if there's any more comments, could you please send your comments, cards, letters, or anything you might want to send us to the new Dennis Cash Show, 3647 East 138th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44120. Okay? Well, you know, Tony, where did Dennis go? I just saw him kind of easing off there a minute ago. He was just looking like he was hunting something down there, and he just disappeared off the set. Here. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Cash had to run out real quick. It was a late-breaking news story. It had something to do with something real big. Y'all come back here with us next week at the new Dennis Cash Show, and I'll promise that the private eye will have it. Must be a new group in town. That guy group. finds more talent than anybody I know, man. He just got a nose for talent, you know just what I mean?